Oh, yeah, there's nothing else to do, so I was gonna do this. Security, uh. I was gonna do this, huh? Watch a video on how to video on seducing doing violent individual i learned the importance of having to will having the will to stand up to an enemy maybe i can use what i learned in our fight in tartarus yep now we learn about ambush ambush while exploring when ambush and enemy you'll trigger a chance encounter regardless of the direction the enemy is facing first of all to the dash for a certain addition to and certain for a set distance to enter a solid thing a square while in the city and, and you will ambush the enemy. Triggering the encounter from behind will slightly increase uh, your third gate and may distress the enemy at the beginning of battle. Got it? I'm sure you are aware you are currently in a dream. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? Mm, I think so. I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer to the change in your mentality. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward? There is one thing you mustn't forget. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I choose this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your actions, no matter what sort of end they may bring about. Please, do keep that in mind. Well then, I bid you farewell. So it's not over yet? Yeah. Fiori. <sighs> Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. Is that not it? I was right. This fear. This pain. Junpei, in two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Huh? Oh. I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me! But, oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Went a little too hard this on that, man. Too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit. But now... It's different. Huh? It hurts inside. Breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei, don't come here anymore. Chidori. But why? That's it for everything. Let's uh, let's see. 
Uh, do I have a request? I think I've, it's been a while since I played, so I gotta Good. get everything back together. Are you accepting a request? Oh, we got a new request. Okay, this I is. There's someone with Tempest Slash. I will await a report of success. Okay. Right, I will to... await a report of success. Bring the cleaning supplies and cleaning. Bring the cleaning supply cleaning room. What? Clean the restaurant in the at the station in the attempted beautiful city. I huh. should be given <laughs> use. In your eyes, if I may say so. Poor island station restroom. Please help clean that area. You have already been provided with the necessary cleaning equipment, so please make good use of them. By all means. Go water the flower. When I visit Gakuga in high school, the flower in the flower bed appears to be withering when watering. While we were taking a stroll around Gakuga High School together, I noticed the water in the rooftop garden were on the verge of dying. Perhaps because not many people freak in that area. What a sad sight for such a lo lovely place spot. Will you, be, will you be so kind to give those flowers some water? Okay, means. lock the roof up. Rooftop, bring me food from a fl furry friend? My friend, my four leg enjoy. You might be able to. Oh, that's probably oh. Kormaru. I like to bring me a certain food. However, it's not something that's typically consumed by humans. In fact, one of your friends seems to delight in eating it. The furry one with four legs. Do you know that? By all means. Well, then, juice. I'm thinking on this legend, I advise you first speak with an expert on beverage. My hunch tells me you may find one such person near Pence. Right. My apologies. I hear it's very difficult to obtain even one can of old and juice. Even among can drinking fanatic, only a few can manage to get the hand on it. As I, it, it would be unwise to conduct a search without any lead, I advise that you first speak with an expert. This is merely hunch, but perhaps you will find one such person near Pence. Permanent Persimmon Treat. I will await a report of Very well. Uh see anything any cards I want, duplicate. There should have been any because I just got old then I came back from the the full moon battle. So, poor island. A bathroom here? Alright, this one. Huh? You're not here to use the toilet? Ah, uh, okay, so you're here to hop out, huh? Oh, uh, you, you even brought your own brush. You really came prepared, don't you? But alright then, why don't you start from the other co corner? Uh, one time I won't get clean. Use soap. Even still on the brush, the ground won't come off. What should I do? Scrub harder. I'll complete. Why wow, you, you can do E off that floor. Hmm? Oh. Interesting me? Right, I'll be right back. Uh, so got that request done. Let's go to the school. Um, the hallway, yep. One of these guys? How about a drink? I could get a thousand yen. Yeah, what's up? You like drinks too? But all your normal drinks. That kind of site only drinks is so rare and awesome that, er that everyone wants to sip. So see interest in drink I can buy here. That's like, huh? So if I ever take like, oh, cost around 10 uh, How many drinks can I get with 10 Oh yeah, what's up? How many drinks? Two? Drinks one? Oh, you're the number one drink. I don't see interest in the drinks I can buy here. What? Isn't it her? Yeah, I'll figure it out later. There was something I want to check.
Alright, you can still buy drinks that are sold out. There are three types of drinks that are currently listed as sold out. May I try I may I try buying something even if it's just sold out. Once you get the vending in front of Evil Life Station, what should I buy? Oh, we got more of these. Alright, we're good here. Uh, let's go back to here. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Thank you for your help cleaning the Port Island Station restroom. Oh, yes. What brush you use to clean that brush bathroom? The filth that now encrusts on the bristle might help a, help in battle. A very primitive form of biological warfare. Maybe there's a sword weapon fusion. No. Take this. Main outfit. By such, I want such person near permission tree. Very well, good. Here are my requests. Uh, oh yeah, the school. Very well. Uh, is there a rooftop? Oh, other side. We have to go to the rooftop in here. Nope. She's talking about these? Water. Yeah, I think that's it. Drink is so rare, and also not everyone wants to sip. Huh. Don't know, but I'll figure out. Go back to the valve room. Good day. Here are my. Let's hear the result. Thank you for watering the flower that we're on the verge of wilting. I, was, I have heard that plants grow so long as one continues to water them. Admir admirable, isn't it? But plants aren't the only one capable capable of such a thing. Maybe I'll try this watering process on myself as well. There's a part of me I would like to cultivate. <laughs> Next time you see me, maybe I'll have grown a little in some way. More made outfit. Uh, okay, I gotta talk to Cormaru at night. Alright, let's go. Very well. So those guys are ready to go up. Same as you. Cherry team, treasure. I think, um... I don't have tempers. Nope. Might as well go grab it. I'll be back yet. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Uh, summon this tempers. Is your progress so far. Is this acceptable? I was, I was gonna grab everyone else when I go over long. There was something I was gonna do as well. Back here. You got anything new? I don't need these. Part time master. 
You can take your your vegetables. I'll take that. You made muscle trainer. Mind the meditation. Uh, what are these for? So this is a uh, charm. Academic. Courage. What is muscle training for? Alright, what HP MP? I think HP MP. That's probably HP MP. Without you, I would probably be back home already. And thanks to all your help, the kimono is almost finished. I feel so blessed. Uh, aren't you homesick? Congrats. My home country. With my aunt gone, there is nothing there for me now. I just want to hurry and put an end to this so that I may live and die in Nihon. Nah, you're probably missing your uh, home country. I need to tell you, I have gotten to know many people since coming to Nihon. But you have been the most Subarashi person of them all. If my aunt was still alive, I would tell her about what a wonderful friend you have been to me. Oh, everyone's getting close to loving Max now, out. We put the final touches on this kimono. Sure, I am so tired. I may be hallucinating a little bit, but this is the last part. I can't give up now. Ready, set, go. Now I gotta talk to Koromo. More loss. I'm calling in reg it's I thought well then. Oh Tardis is open. And I just gotta uh, wait for her until she starts calling me about the lost people. Like for a while, I'd like to think that she'll be okay, but I'm not so sure about this time. Uh where's Koromaru? There you are. Marvelous. I'm looking. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. So this is the food enjoyed by your little furry friend. Oh, the label says luxury dog food. Is your friend something of a gourmet? Oh my! What well, an enticing aroma! Don't tell me they use that as an ingredient. I truly envy your friends for being able to enjoy such luxury meal. Take this, a bone. Very many feather men are action figures. I know what that is. Surely you know the catchphrase, Evil be gone, the Phoenix Ranger of Love and Justice is here. And allow me to clarify, I am only asking for the feather men are action figure. Keep in mind, no other feather men will do. Not for this request. I will await a Very well. Oh, I gotta talk to Ken. What? Fetterman R doll? Isn't that a prize you can win in a raffle? You answer by buying gums of gummy bear. Why were you why were you on? You're right in high school. 
Well, I do have one. Uh, I'm not into it or anything. I just happen to have an extra raffle ticket. Um, I actually have a duo of the same color, so you can have it. But please take care of it. But wow, I didn't know you like Phoenix Feather, uh, Phoenix, Phoenix Ranger Feather Man art. Maybe we could watch it together sometime. Uh, you got any new? Uh, devoted vegetable gardener? I think I buy all these. A request. Let's hear the result. I see you have a Featherman arm action figure. Yeah, I'll hold it. Interesting. You put it in various poses and play with it. Oh my! Oh, it's flexible enough to be put in this kind of pose. Hmm. This may be a bit overwhelming for me, emotionally speaking. You may have this back. Sacrificial doll. I don't. Okay, we're done here. Very well. Uh. A bone. Quick a right up. I think I should read those uh those things on the computer. There's nothing else we need to do here. So let's see, uh that's farming. Muscle, that's for... I think this is uh, HP. In this social session, you'll, earn, you'll learn 600 ways to use your muscles. The immense amount of information is being presented at a rapid pace. Congratulations, you're hit by problem to Muscle Sergeant. I sure learned a lot about how to use my muscle. I feel like I have more stamina now that I read this. Watch this. Yep. That's why you read both of them. Or I will use both of them. I can hear people talking. Geez, there's someone with FPD syndrome at my cram school too. Hello. I heard that this city isn't the only one affected. It's also happening in other places. I wonder what's going to happen to this country. What? Come on, don't say such scary things. I'm sure someone will take care of it. Hmm? Let's get ah, here we go with this guy. Now we begin. Today we are examining regional forms of magic. First stop is India, one of the birthplace of magic. You may not think of India as a especially magical place, but it's most assuredly is. Seeing how esoteric Buddhism magic came from India, it was a definite influence on Gnosticism and foundation of modern day Theosophy. You may say that the of Hanshan, of, of Pen, of Pen Shan. Part of the video are the original Book of Magic. Many ancient Indians uh, were passionate in their search for magic. These Indian magic magicians emerged in similar cir circumstances as other places around the world. India in, in India is traditional to lead a pious life, but eventually some people cling to have gained immense power through tap. Tapas, yeah. At first, their claim were rejected, but they slowly gained power and numbers. Eventually, they were accepted into common practice. These are the uh, ascent, I don't know. Mentioned in the upper hand sh chart. However, many humans would be readily able to mimic their skills. Those known as the tapas, uh, have surpassed the limitation of humanity. 
Do you think you could fast and pray for months at a time without eating or sleeping? You would die before entering any, any power at all. So it is understandable that the Buddhas reject such extreme ascetism. Of course, the Upan, Upanishad that Upanishad aren't all about such radical practice. They contain very practical messages. A method, though yoga, for instance, was also introduced through these scriptures. Say, are you listening? Uh huh. How about you paying attention? Get it wrong? Yeah, I know here. Yeah. You begging me? What is the ancient Indian magical text that I mentioned today? A passion? Is that what? Yeah. Craig, you still need to live an honest life, though. I can't pile on any good karma. Moving on, there are many different schools of yoga and near countless asana or poses being taught. Some asana are for health, other are, while others are, are for prayers. One important branch is Hatha Yoga, a type of yoga that many people are already familiar with today. In this branch, one cultivates a healthy body to obtain purity of mind. What are you eating? Give me that. Okay, what should we do today? Let me check that corridor again. I'll have to look that up. Jupei? Oh, Jupei's. Alright. Uh, Jupei, there we are. Let's get this out. something wrong it's just look I don't really get it myself hey wanna go sit somewhere for a bit I don't feel like standing around and talking so the girl I'm visiting I think I made her upset I want to tell her I'm sorry but I don't even know what I did wrong. She told me not to come around anymore. So what am I supposed to do? Go see her anyway. That's what you do if you're in my shoes? Oh yeah. I'm sure you would be able to pull it off that way, but... It feels like I'm trapped in some kind of loop, you know? No matter how motivated I get it, it's getting me nowhere. In that way, since I played baseball, those hero moments. If I could just hit the ball, man, I get so amped. Except I never once got to be the hero. Never it was clutch time. I always struck out, and I guess nothing's different now. You're great the way you are. Things get so changed. Yeah, you're great the way you are. 
just uh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. <sighs> Feels like I got a huge weight off my shoulders. Didn't think the day would come when I'd be talking to you about my problems, man. But I guess it's not really a secret that I got problems, huh? And besides, I kinda hate to admit it, but the answer you give is probably the right one. Well, go talk to her. Still go wash. Not yeah. go back. I'm losing my edge. I need something to get back in the groove. Let's get Katsudana with Katsu to wake us up. Oh, wait, do they even have Katsu down there? Okay, now uh, let's see what we're doing tonight. Oh, welcome back. Uh, let's save it. Who are we going to meet, Koromaru? Ah, you. Oh, hey. That's right, you walk your dog around this time. I'm just out for a light run. Felt like I needed a little more after club practice. It's kind of chilly just standing around. Wanna do some stair laps over there? Oh, welcome back. You've got some pretty good form there. I should get back to my run. I'll see you later. Sonic, do the usual. What you got for me? Japanese doll. Homunculus. I'll take the homunculus. Thanks. Now we got for next time. Oh, that's it. Let's go buy all my drinks. You're the lowest. I mean, have a look. So there's the sun and the star. room Welcome to the velvet room This is your progress so far Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength There we go, we're good here Very well. Oh yeah, I look up the, the drink uh, I'll get it later I just gotta talk to her yeah, she'll tell you where to buy it. And I also read up, I go buy that flower. I think a white flower, right? Yeah, the white flower. Might please someone. There we go. Uh, and yeah, I was going to hang out with. Not there. Say, how do you feel about a pink alligator? Seems fine to me. 
thought so too. I knew you'd understand. See, it's the main character of a story that I'm writing. He was born in a lush green forest, but he turned out to be pink. He stands out so much that he can't hunt for food easily, so he's always hungry. The other animals dislike him and call him disgusting, almost like he's cursed. So he was used to living alone. But one day he made a friend. It was a little bird that had trouble flying. Every day the bird would stand on the pink alligator's back and practice. It's kind of embarrassing to tell you this. So, what do you think? Sounds interesting. Really? I've never written a story before, so I'm worried it's not going to be very good. But what matters is that I'm writing it for myself. Perhaps I can show you the entire novel someday. I actually came up with it the other day. I decided I wanted to write a heartwarming story just for myself. I'd like it to be a hopeful tale about finding the meaning in one's life. I think of you when I write. It's like I can hear you telling me not to die just yet. The wind is going to pick up soon. I can feel these kinds of things now. I hope I have enough time. We should leave. He wants to finish writing that book before uh, he passed away. Oh, you're going for a walk? And well, I'll visit her for sure, but. I don't know what to say to her, if only I had some kind of reason to see her. And give it to him. Come on, let's have a little chat. Why do you have these flowers? You should give it to her. What the heck, dude? What's your deal? Or is this like a crush thing? Because this is too much love to handle. You're acting like a baby. Whoa, I'm called for. Am I not allowed to be in a bad mood? Damn it. You really backed me into a corner here. I can't just not go now after all this. But well, thanks. Guess I should take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Maybe I should come bursting in with the whole bouquet. Uh, you save it, see who am I meeting. Hey, sir. Hey, we meet again. Oh, right, you're walking your dog. Wait, have you been doing this every day? His name's Koromaru kun Wait, it's written with the kanji for tiger and wolf? What a badass! <laughs> Welcome back, little buddy! Oh, you can run around all by yourself, huh? Oh, aren't you a clever boy? Oh, man. I actually need to get going. I'll see you later, you two. Hey, good news. I heard the boy who's transferring here today is one hot stud muffin. Oh yeah, he came to school the other day too to submit some paperwork, right? I wonder which class he's in. If our seats are next to each other, we'll have to sit real close to share a textbook. Well, he's actually in, going to be in... He's actually going to be in 2F. We'll just have to check him out later. Got a new student? Today we have yet another transfer student. 
this really our third one? <laughs> Guess that makes it a hat so trick. Uh, go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, that's allowed. It's Why do you have a scarf? Wait, it is, it is cool outside, but yeah. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work. And that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi, that seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh-huh. Hey there. I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Uh oh. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? Does I guess see something? She probably knows. Pay close attention, all right? So I don't everyone just because we have new student doesn't give you the license to misbehave. Anyone who doesn't pipe down now gets left out of the school trip next week, got it? Good, now let's begin. Where did we leave off next time? Ah, I forgot. Forget it. I don't need the textbook for this. You know, sleepy. Indeed, twas I who found the corpse. That's it, I'm, I'm not going to say it again. Be quiet. The student who actually wants to pay attention can hear. If you must gossip about Mochi Zuki, could wait until the break. Or just talk to him yourself then. about do it thanks guess i'm done here then see you tomorrow uh sorry hold on could you two take these boxes over to the music room uh all of them yes you know where the music room is right i think the boxes are full of sheet music they're really heavy so be careful not to hurt yourselves I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekoda. I mean, d Mr. Ekoda has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? This guy's really sus. Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? 
I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Uh, extra collector activity. Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? Uh, I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I noticed you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Uh, you can play? Well, see for yourself. What are you doing? Hey, you. No. Hey. What? Good? Hey. what are you scared of? I thought if I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. Where's Lucas? There's so much I'm that I'm okay? comfortable or familiar with yet. So, I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? Ah, uh, ready, friends. It does somehow feel like we've known each other for a long time already. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right. I think. Let me look at something. Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Yeah, that's how I figure. Thanks. I'll be in touch. You look exactly like. Barrels with a mole on your left arm. Hi. Some time before it gets dark. But he had the same mole on his left eye too. And just whatever parts you're familiar with. That's really nice. Wait, oh yeah, he looks exactly like Ferrells. Like an older version of Ferrells. What are you thinking about that real joke kid? He's going around asking how every girl he sees. Damn, I wish I had his guts. Not another one. Yeah, okay, he has the same mole on his left cheek. Okay, now uh, you want to watch TV. I think you're done watching TV. I think we should just finish this up. Try this. <clears throat> My lovely veggie garden. Have you ever seen a tomato that's shiny? What? It's so pretty and it's very rare. Did you know golden tomato sprouts are only available at a certain flower shop? You can find them at a ruffian flower shop at Port Island Station. Oh, we got a new, uh, new. New plants. Morning. I heard Kyujo Senpai is coming back today. How is she? Uh -huh. I don't know. What should I even say to her? I wouldn't be surprised if she's not up for talking, though. Check who should I have left? Pieces. There's a chariot, justice, uh, fortune, train. No, everyone's ready to level up. Let me go, uh, Might as well do the uh, the art guy. I think he's fortune. To the velvet room. Ah, please choose 
since the personas, you would... Registering personas? This is your progress so far. Register... Is overriding acceptable? I was only equipped it. Equipped it on one, not all. Oh well, at least I equipped the right one. So, this summon the fortune. So, far. so you'll be summoning your inner strength. Let me register this. Registering personas is overriding all register. Are you finished? We look. I wish it was all persona, but oh well. Ah, uh, there we go, baby. No, case key. Hello. Yeah, I'd like to appreciate it. Come, yep. Thank you. I mean, there's nothing. We could talk about that later. I should go see how everyone's doing. Hey, can we step out for a bit? I want you to come to the station with me. I'll tell you more there. Sorry to make you come all the way here. I, um, suddenly have no idea what to do with my life anymore. Do I want to be a doctor or do I want to be an artist? I've decided to do a little soul searching and I won't go back home or to school until I figure it out. I haven't figured out exactly where I'll go, but it has to be somewhere away from home. I've got plenty of money. I may have taken my dad's credit card from his wallet. I'm glad we had a chance to talk before I left. Tell the others I said goodbye. Ah, uh, you can't go. Don't say that. You're gonna make this harder for me. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. <coughs> Ma'am, are you? He right? definitely should be a doctor. You should just go happen. She's having trouble breathing and she's running a fever. This is bad. I may be jumping to conclusions. You're too caring. I'm sorry about this. I knew it. She's a smoker. This is really bad. I think she suffers from chronic bronchitis. So if she caught a cold, it may have exacerbated the symptoms. Call an ambulance. Hurry! We'll leave the rest to the paramedics. Well, I better get going. <laughs> Is everyone just getting sick left and right? Sir, are you okay? My train's about to leave. What should I do? Uh, you can't ban on your... Alright, then I'll... I'll go ask the station attendant to call an ambulance. You stay here and perform first aid on him. Uh, help him out. I uh, better leave him. I should not barely pat his upper back. Nope, don't move him. Leave him alone. Okay, I told someone. Wait, I think he's going into cardiac arrest. Um, let's sit him in an upright position. No, he's breathing and signs of cyanosis. I have to do something. I have to, or this man will die. I need your help. Lay him down on his back, gently. Now, if I perform CPR while giving him a cardiac massage. At least I helped him as much as I could. Thank you. I don't think I would have had the confidence on my own. I'm really glad you were here with me. We both saved their lives. Alright, he should just be a doctor. He's too caring. Finally know what I really want. That's 
said, I'm not looking forward to apologizing to my dad. All right, then. I'll see you at school. I mean, you could just do art as a hobby. Oh, I got this, huh? Welcome back. Isu had just returned to the dorm. She looks really tired. She went straight to her room without saying a word. Are you worried? I speculate. Worry? No, not exactly. How should I say this? I feel feel responsible for what happened. I'm thinking that the crowd's already. Oh, that's right. I should go buy those um, new plants. I know you must be busy, but do you have some? Do you have time to come with me tonight? Thank you very much. I was for sure if I'll be able to go there alone. I'd like to head over to Port Island Station now, if that's okay with you. So then. Took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called K Sara Sara. It's down this way. I was thinking of getting Mitsuru san a gift, and I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Mm, maybe it's too dangerous, but supposedly it's only open at night. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy's waiting for you. I <laughs> <sighs> just ignored him. Thank you, but I'm all right. If I let it bother me, then it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. And for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. Yeah, you did your research. I borrowed a computer from Fuka-san and gathered some information. Mitsuru-san seems to know her teas well, so I figured I shouldn't give her anything weird. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. Uh, I'm sure she'll like it. You're growing strong. Thanks. I feel a lot better hearing you say that. I thought about it a lot. And this is the best I could come up with. Well, uh, we should head back before it gets too late. And what's wrong? That's where Sinjiro dies, huh? Nah, it's nothing. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself, but how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start, but I 
I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day. And I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> oh, I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aigis san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. Uh, invite me next time. <laughs> of course. Let's go get ramen together again one of these days. It was so delicious the last time we had it. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. Uh, that's an exaggeration. You think so? Well, that's how I feel at least. You're always leading the way and giving everyone courage. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? Who should we hang out with now? Hey there. Have you talked to the new transfer student yet? Isn't he handsome? Oh, yeah, I have. Mitch is looking cool, right? He's so sweet and dreamy. Also, he looks rich. I'm going for him. Going for him for real this time. What? N that's not fair. I call dibs. I'll be right back. Let me uh, zoom out. What are we good with? Kari still needs some time. You cool? Maybe. Kari needs some time. This was it. Heisuke, Yuko, and Baby. Yeah, I just I'll finish them all. So I'll just uh, finish his story. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! I gotta do that first. So what you got for me? Golden Tomatoes Pro. Show sure, Vitality. What is this? My... I don't know, five of these. And... Let's try two of these. Yeah, I'll just um, finish his story up. Listen. And I'd like to you be there. Yep. Thank you. I think everyone else is right here, so let's just draw like we usually do. Everyone, listen up. As of today, I am quitting the club. I'd like a new club leader to be chosen from the second years. Okay. Oh, why? Where's this coming from? I have to study for my entrance exams. Wait, so then... I'm going to med school, getting my license, and becoming a doctor. Did your dad say you had to quit because you have to take over the hospital? My dad has nothing to do with this. I made this decision for myself. I'm going to have to turn down the opportunity to study abroad. And since I'm so behind on my studies, I'll have to pull a lot of all-nighters to catch up. I really enjoyed leading the club. 
So thank you all for everything. There's something different about you, Keisuke Senpai. You seem way more confident. Hey, you're giving me too much credit. Hey, can we talk upstairs? After today, we won't be able to chat like this anymore, which is why I wanted to give this to you now. A war letter? Oh, I know. This arrived yesterday. It turns out I earned an honorable mention. But the top prizes ended up going to a couple other artists. It made me realize I still have a lot to learn. Like mastering the basics for starters. Studying for the med school entrance exams is going to be hard. And this would only distract me. That's why I want you to have it. Um, but why? I won't be attending club anymore. So I wanted to give you something to remember me by. Oh, but uh, don't get the wrong idea, okay? Lucas. Remember how <laughs> we helped those people at the station? They all have important people in their lives. Just like how you're an important person in my life. If they had died, they never would have gotten to be with those people again. So that's why I'm becoming a doctor. Uh, I'm not coming off as arrogant, am I? Uh, not at all. <laughs> See? I can be the reliable one sometimes yeah. too, you know? I did used to be the club leader after all. It feels like I went in a huge circle and ended up right back where I started. And I know it might look like it. But I'm not doing this because my dad's a doctor. I'm doing this because I want to be a doctor. And if you ever need an emergency operation, I'll oversee the surgery myself. I mean, if I keep you alive, we get to spend more time together. Yep, finish this off. Finally got this done. What did we get? Lakshmi? Lakshmi? The goddess of fertility. Your health is everything. It's best if you never even have to see a doctor. Do you get the proper nutrients living in the dorm? Let's pick up something healthy for you to eat on the way home. Uh, I'll be back again. I gotta find that controller. Where do you like? Wait, the metal kid took it. Alright, gonna look good. Let's get going. Uh, let's see, what should we do? I think you're done, right? Yeah, you're good. Who seeing me on the second floor? I guess. Excuse me. Yes. That reminds me. I was reading this book during class once. One of our classmates saw and said to me, Wow, I'm surprised. So, you're the type to talk with your fists. What exactly do I look like to everyone else? Ah, uh, no more high school. Uh, cute girl. Cute? From what I understand, that term is used to describe small animals. Are you saying that I'm also being placed into that mm -hmm. category? Mm -hmm. I am an anti-shadow weapon, but I don't mm -hmm. seem to be regarded Lucas. as such. I must correct this problem at once. If it is not addressed, it could negatively impact my ability to carry out my duties. Once I finish reading, I will start thinking of a solution. <laughs> During combat, the mental states of both sides play a significant role in the outcome. I want my presence to strike fear in the hearts of my enemies, but galvanize my allies as well. What can I do to convey that kind of impression? Ideally, it would be something to encourage people to depend on me. Maybe I can find some tips in this book. Hey! I think this is enough reading for now. We should return to our rooms. Hey! 
No, you don't eat that. It's November already, the third year student must be cramming frantically by this point. Don't worry though, you'll share your their fate next year. I can just see you now tearing your tearing your hair out. Anyway, it's a bit cold today, but there's no need for that for the heater. Let me tell you why. Winter is supposed to be cold. You have to learn to appreciate the temperature rather than curse it. That's the Japanese way. Do you understand me? You don't, do you? As say so. As Sei Sho Nagan once wrote in her famous pillow book, Winter Early Morning. Hmm, yes, right. I see. What was, what was she describing with such a sparse line? I do not know. Her favorite time in winter? So you do have some basic sense. So Autumn also was describing her favorite time in winter. She's now famous for having learned written about her likes, dislikes, and other observations. She... What are you doing? She admires what the snow represents, the beauty of the winter frost. Rather than curse the winter chill, she appreciated its positive quality. Oh, how wonderful Japanese culture is, despite the modern youth anyway. And if you think my hair is frosty, remember that you're very happy. With a few ladies later, but I guess some of their friends want to talk with me first. Maybe we can go together. Wouldn't that be so much fun? I think they're waiting for me on the rooftop. Want to come along? I've got a chance to get to know them better. Might as well. Thanks. I thought they'll be girls. Um, it's nice to meet you. So you said you needed to talk to me. Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, how, how were you able to do that heart symbol talking, talking, talking like that? You see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. What, is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem then. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Qu quit messing with us. Give me your phone. I'm going to delete all the contact info you have. Um, he does not know any better. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then. <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. It's not being popular. It's not your fault. 
considering how angry they were, I'd say I probably was at fault here. And from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first. No, <laughs> the heck. That's not the right way of doing it. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. Now you're back with something else. <laughs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. I wonder why those guys were so mad. Are you going to get something else? a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Ah, uh, it's the secret. <laughs> is that how it is? Well, maybe you can tell me once we get to know each other better. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in the city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right. Uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei Kun the other day, and while we're at it, yeah, more ramen. Maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. Oh, that's that's nice. I'll just hold on to our time up now. Okay, uh, for Maru, you know, my second floor. Look, is done. Let's do for Maru. Very proud of a shining coat. That's making me shinier. Mochizuki Kun at all. Hello. Oh, yeah? You think maybe you could get along with him? He seems really um, affectionate. Is that normal overseas? Hey there. Hi, oh, hello, Takeba san. Oh, and good morning to you. Uh, uh, hey, good morning, Mochizuki. <laughs> Please call me Ryoji. You see, since I transferred here at such an awkward time, I was hoping I could get to know everyone better. Yeah. Oh, I see. It must suck having to transfer school so often. Yeah. Can't deny that. I should be used to it by now, but it always gets hard to leave new friends. Get a little lonely, you know? But how about keeping in company for a little while? Wanna grab a quick bite sometime? Nah, you're not going in here. You got it. Hey, wake up! Okay, who should I hang out with? Uh, Fuka. Let me zoom out. So, Fuka is the only one not there. Kenji, Kazushi, and Babe. Oh, Kazushi is the track.
and babies they are transfer students. Can I go closer? If you're done, right? If I just talk, yeah, I mean you're done. So what you what's with you in your uh picture, huh? Another day, another bowl of ramen. Despite a simple appearance, the soup has complex flavor that enhances by the noodles. Is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? Wait, you want to leave? Must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. Just, maybe she did. You know what else? My favorite show had its finale, and I didn't even notice. My mind was really on one track for a while, huh? Kind of funny in a weird way. Man, it's always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. You don't know when to give up. Want me to find you one? Hell no! Men and women can't help but be attracted to each other. That's just biology, dude. Come on, I just dropped some serious knowledge there. See how much I've been studying? No, 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 no. I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emmy left, I was sad, sure. On top of that, I felt really dumb. Did I really love Emmy Re? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot. But I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is you're a true friend. Are you still talking about love? Talking about the heart, dude. Don't you feel it? Just shut up and feel it. Anyway, here, take this. I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of nah, so I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do, right? It's a symbol of our friendship. All right, finally got this guy done. Busun, Busun Nushi, Busun Nushi, the warrior god. Man, I worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. More eggs, please. Make it ten. Here we go again. Back. Is this me or does Junpei seem unhappy about something? He's been mumbling, mumbling under his breath for the longest time. I think it's about Shizori san? Well, it's probably best to let him be until we know what's on his mind. Okay, what should we do now? Hello, Lucas. Now you're done.
back and be like him when I'm an adult. What do you think it takes for a guy to be hard-boiled? That's true. The detective did always make the right call, no matter what situation he was in. He was compassionate, but level-headed, and he never fell for the enemy's tricks. Come to think of it, that might be just what I need right now. I tend to get worked up about what's right in front of me, don't I? That's exactly the kind of thing a kid would do. I need to fix that. Well, now's as good a time as any to start. I'll give it my best shot. If I do that, do you think I could become like him? A cool, hard-boiled guy, just like the detective in the movie. <laughs> When I hear you say it, I really feel like it's possible. Oh boy, look at the time. But I still want to talk about the movie. Wait, I'm not sleepy yet, okay? She kill. Prepare to be. You know, the two of you will totally get along. He's actually wanted to know more about Gekkon High, so naturally I had to share my wisdom with him. Anyway, he's a really cool dude to hang out with. Thanks for helping me out, Junpei. Thanks especially for telling me who is in the top 10 guilty of Gekkon High too. Hey, pipe down. If you got time to hear about this, my friend is going to go down the toilet. Isn't it right rock bottom? Dude, quit rubbing salt in my wound. I just an easily mis misunderstood fellow, okay? Still pretty close, huh? I hope we can be good friends too. Since we're both transfer students and all. Let's get on ah, today, here goes this guy. I'm not gonna talk. Uh huh, well, you know, you bet you don't, anyway. Thing that came to mind was a lecture on practical magic. Just reading technique. It actually, was a link. Reading. Numa? Ah, uh, Numa? Ibuki. Both breathing in a strange. This guy talks way too much. I'm not going to voice over this guy again. <clears throat> Holy crap, this guy talks way too much. meetings I've been looking all over for you did someone ask you to come find me well yeah I'm not a member or anything but still oh, well sorry about that you've been pretty busy huh what with the class trip and all 
It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <laughs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> ah, there she is! I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Odagiri kun He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. What are you doing? Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star uh, hotel. Go, go watch the Lucas. restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Oh shit, this guy can swerve, nightscape? huh? And talk. Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Takeba, thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. <laughs> Just punch him up. He's being way too friendly with everyone. Oh, so, uh, we should we go away? Hikari, Yukuka, Yuko, and Chihiro. So I think it was Justice and Strength. Let's do um, Justice. Uh, I don't. Do I have a Persona? Yes, I do. So I'll be right back, right? Yeah. Or Justice. Shimi-san of Class 1C. The student council president would like to speak with you. Please report to the student council room immediately. I repeat. The president wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money too. Uh, let's see. Don't worry, she'll help us. Mitsu's not like that. You're right. She'll help us, won't she? And if I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um, Miss President, I, I... I uh, just say uh... it. I need you to tell her yourself, Chiro is innocent. Brave. I, uh, I, I didn't 
Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the student council president. Give me a hand, will you? Uh, why me? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent hey, more time well, you're back again. Me, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait, d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi? All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! Uh oh, here we go. I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I also remember handing the fee money to you directly. Or are you really going to say that this is my mistake? Fee money? Give me an explanation right now, or else. I'm so sorry. You're right. It's it's completely my fault. No. Well, Senpai has been. Wait, what? Wait, what? Well, the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I'd been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. No, you can't forget something what? like that. What? It's been, what, how many days? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How, that kind of teacher are how you? could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. Yeah, she's it's building a lot more confidence. Just... <laughs> <laughs> What's going to you? Well, you are guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> Yeah, she's gaining more confidence. Just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. I've been like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while. I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! Uh, I like working with you too. I feel the same. 
you say? I say I love you. Join you at Tartarus tonight. I apologize for worrying everyone. Our only priority, priority now is to do something about Tartarus. I'll be counting on you again. Follow the school trip next to you, so that should be fun. But unfortunately, I'm out of and Kurumar will have to stay here. Who's gonna watch them? Okay, let's see. Um, how long do I have left? Next to you'll go fast. Let me save it. See who we're gonna meet. Oh, alright. Oh, it's you. What a coincidence. I uh ran out of soy sauce, so oh, um, is that dog? Um He doesn't Fight, does he? I'm actually a little afraid of dogs. I was attacked by one when I was little. It only knocked me over, but ever since then. Hey, come on, I was a good boy. <laughs> oh, I I'm sorry. I I'm still a little scared, but maybe I'll be okay with this one. Um, I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll see you at school then. Sunday, all right, do the usual. Oh, I got these. I got well, I just do have to spend time with one of them. What we got for me today? Said jacket, got it, and mega protein. And go up here. We're good. Oh, well, let's hang out with Puka. Wait, do I have priestess? Nope. Uh, let's we get the priestess. right back.
상황에 의해서 이거 저기 하고 있네요. 파인 여기요. 오케이, what are we doing? 아, uh, there's this. Have we done this before? Um. Might as well. livelier than they did when we started do you suppose they're happy that you are tending to them uh i think so fascinating there's no data on this but it seems like you understand them hello plants i will be tending to you as well this time don't worry i'll make sure to decrease my pressure output but if anything starts hurting just raise your left hand or rather your left leaf i had some prior knowledge of plants but this was my first time observing them directly these little seeds and buds in the earth can morph and change so quickly is this proof that they are living as well how fascinating I would like to watch these plants grow and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power. This took more time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. She's going at this at 100% power. We should head back now. The school trips tomorrow. Are y'all packed? Hey, you bet I am. I got all covered. You got you cut up bathing suit, flashlight, snacks. Huh. You don't travel light, do you? So, and tomorrow session, you'll leave on your field trip. Uh, Kyoto, home of my heart. I'm seeing your teacher thinks you should be out visiting foreign country, but I shut those ideas down every single year. It's shameful the way we lost our passion for our homeland. Why don't we spend some time today learning about our country's innate beauty? I'm sure your other teacher would have covered that all out, that at all. That's for sure. You all know that our national flower is the cherry blossom, right? However, back in the days of the Manch Yoshio, if you were to ask someone what it was, they'll tell you it was a plum. Let's close your eyes for a bit. Okay, let's see who's up. Luka, Hideyoshi, and Kuzushi. You'll see uh, I think the track thing as well. Let's do Fuka then. She had any idea what I was talking about, so I told her the whole story. And when I finished, she burst out laughing. She told me I didn't need to do anything like that. She said, when you're friends, you don't keep score. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. I've been so negative this whole time. I felt like I needed to be useful to belong here, even though that wasn't true at all. It was just what I was telling myself. I was being blinded by my fear. Understanding this made me realize what I really wanted to do. I've been going on about wanting to repay everyone for what they've done for me, but the real reason is a lot more simple. So, um, will you hear me out? Normally, I'd ask your opinion on how best to do something like this, but... <sighs> what are you doing? I, I want you want to no more? Side. I want to be together with you. Forever. Max, here. I feel the same way too. Nope, I don't. Ah, uh, yeah, look, we're we'll always be friends. Look. We'll be together forever. Yes, no matter what happens, I'll be by your side. As long as I have you, I feel like I can handle anything. Our heart is almost there. It's got a few more girls to take. Oh, the time. Do you think maybe we could keep talking for a little longer? Oh, we got this in. Tomorrow's the school should do. I'm so psyched. It kinda sucks that we're only going to Kyoto though. Huh? huh? Jupe seems to have Zenchi back. I guess there's no reason to worry about him. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? I'm always energetic. By the way, you better behave while we're gone. Don't go throw any parties, got it? Yes. I won't. Oh, please don't worry about bringing me any back, assuming you're... Hey, are you trying to use reverse psychology on me or something? No. No, of course not. It's just that Kyoto has a lot of great tasting snacks. Is it jacket endure? Uh... Give it to him, Mr. Uh, you're done. Yes, we're doing this. I think this one. Human knows their own weakness, and here we are explaining how to take full advantage of them. Oh, it's a bit, but I managed to learn new approach to hit where it hurts. I feel like I learned how to examine the enemies before making the first strike. Ambush at advance. When attacking an enemy from behind, you will now inflict distress without fail. It's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. 
Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? Hmm? <sighs> Thank goodness. She actually made it. right back what are you eating and here we are whoa nice place yeah this part of town is pretty fancy hey what's that umbrella for I see. So that's the style here in Kyoto, huh? So, which way to the geishas? You think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Junpei. The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open-air hot springs I've heard about? Ah, uh, that's a courtyard. That's the courtyard. Right, <clears throat> this is the courtyard. Wanna go out for a walk later, I guess? Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? Alright, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and remember, get yourself he's unpacked. I'm... Implanting memories? You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man. Man. He's too much of an influence on her. All right, let's see what I can do around here. Come on in. Anything. Just by any all these. Much appreciated. I'll just buy one each. Come on, any There we go. Much appreciated. What's up? I do not know. Uh huh. It's your room, go out there, turn right, your room will be on the right hand side of the hallway. Got it. Go now. <clears throat> <laughs> well, come on, let's hustle. Or else, Miss Toriyumi. Hey there. Oh, hey. Even though we were. But you know what? I've been, I want to sample the local food. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast, they'll never see it coming. Then, after lights out, we girls get together and gush about who we like. And this year, I've got a lot to say. Oh, oh, by the way, have you checked out this vending machine? You don't really see these drinks back home. Maybe I should buy some as a souvenir. Uh, I think I'll buy all these.
Oh, I could, I could actually go in here. Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. I think I'll just head to bed. Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. <clears throat> I'm looking for... Then juice. Do I have to give it to the girl as a trade? Oh. oh, it's you. If you want to know more about the trip, you can find the details in the itinerary over there. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. Not over yet. You don't have the to tower's be still up. about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him and look what happened. I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. Come on, we're all like my that too. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. It's kind of just... But it was all because pointless. I never knowing that her grandfather was like that too. Am I wrong? Sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> yeah, it's not over yet, man. You know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point... Believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but in the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started? That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. For my father's sake. And for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together. Okay? 
Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. Hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. Oh, does she love them? <clears throat> And thus, Saleya is in rise to Arte Artemisia? What's a new one? Massive almighty damage to one foot and decrease all their stats. Well, oh, that's very nice. Please. <clears throat> Okay. Come on in. You still got the same stuff, huh? Much There's a river thing nearby with a great view. Would you like to check it out? Yeah, might as well. Thanks. Uh, save it. See ya. Oh, it's tomorrow. Okay. down here going on trips is great huh i've seen a lot of the sights here now and everything is so fascinating there's so much i've never seen before my mind's having trouble keeping up i even bought myself a souvenir look it's a music box doesn't it sound nice i don't know the name of the song though i think i like it <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. And yeah, how do you know that? Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, oh, that guy. Strono, he was talking about it. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, 
just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? Is connection inevitable? So you mean you can't escape it? But from what I can tell, everyone around here wants to have that kind of relationship. If they were just forced together by circumstances, I don't think they'd look so happy. Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided, but it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm, other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey, with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. Yeah, way different when you're a kid. <laughs> when you're <laughs> a creepy little like kid. I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. But we should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. We're going, no anything no buzz about I mean we got we just gotta come find me when you're free. Ah oh, damn, getting close. Okay, you sup? What What? Well, like it or not. Can I just go to sleep? Ah, well. So Sweet! I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Alright, time to go to Hot Spring. This hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others. No way, really? So, there's a chance it could switch to girls only while we're still in here. What even if that happens? There's always a hot spring in honest, all the Persona right? game. That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? You're not blowing our face. Still, can't help but think maybe fate wants us to be here. Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji kun? Is there a time? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei Kun? You morons. Oh, they know. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> You're planning oh, yeah, for this. Man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we going to do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow, this hot spring is huge. Oh yeah, it's dumb, right? <laughs> oh shit! Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its <clears throat> therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! You <laughs> and Fuka-san! Oh, 
This is my lucky little... Shut up, you dumbass. They'll hear you. Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Michuru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. You definitely were playing this. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Mm. Right, commit the operation and get out of the hot spring without being seen. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Yay, hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Uh, how about a rock? High in steam. They're gonna come around the rock though, right? in steam. Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. In the shadows? No, there's no one here. See, you have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? Looks like we bought ourselves some time. If the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted. Mitsuru and I guess are probably close too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? Is a duck as a red herring. I'll <laughs> run for the exit. <laughs> All right. I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. Uh, what herring? Why is it red? He can explain later. Ah! What was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. Run for it. We know where they are now. This is our chance. Whoa, hang on! We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that. Good point, just follow me. Whoa, so much confidence. You're like a natural born leader. Well, you got us this far. Might as well go all in with ya. All right, let's move. Did Persona 5 have a hot spring moment? I don't remember. Hmm? Uh, I know no, uh, Persona 4 have it. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me or... Is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> well, well, obviously! How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific... Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. Yeah, we got out. I don't know how, but we made it out. All thanks to you. One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where did Junpei and Mochizuki go? He went back, I guess. Junpei-kun and Ryoji-kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something.
something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. <laughs> Guess they got what was coming. On oh, last day of future. We are leaving Kyoto by train. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, <clears throat> right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, um, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Um, what are you reflecting on? Uh, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Well, whatever. Mm. This secret stays between us. Got it? You guys better take it to the grave. All right, back home. Oh, welcome back. Oh, that's fast. Oh man, I'm so tired. But it was a lot of fun. I'll probably be back some souvenir stories, so I'll tell you later. Uh, okay, I'll be looking forward to them. Can't go to Tartarus tonight, we're all too tired. Let's go tomorrow. Even though we don't have anything to fight for anymore. Got me souvenir. Uh, I could just give him any of these now. Yeah, look a bit uncomfortable around the girl. Did something happen at school? Um. Okay. Who are we going out with? Am I, oh, Ken's going with us. Uh, let me uh, do this. So. I'm going inspiring people. Ninja skill. Favorite. What is this for? Or posting anecdotes of inspiring people. This is farm. Um, there's gardening, HP, MP, MP, or SP, SP, SP. What is this? Ambush has hands after successfully attacking enemies from behind you dare to gauge when raised. Okay. And hey, we're back at school. Seriously? <clears throat> I was so excited about the next about having next Monday out, but I remember career experience week starts Tuesday. It's like we have to work even though we got we won't get paid. What job did you get? Hey, Tuesday and Wednesday, I got a third I got a construction job. And on Thursday and Friday I got I'm at a gas station. You know what? Dang that sucks. And our teacher is gonna be keeping an eye on us for the whole time. A real job. A career work? Uh career week. So did y'all did y'all enjoy the school trip? I'm sure it didn't. I couldn't care less about shrines and temples. Well, career experience week starts Tuesday. Just think of it as another boring field trip for our social studies. It's pretty tough out there in the real world. If you don't know what I mean, by the end of the week you will. By myself though, I'm just happy I'll have the chance to relax. Does anyone have any fond memory from the trip they'd like to share with the class? Come on now, don't turn away from me. I feel sleepy. Might as well sleep it off. <clears throat> uh, 
Ah, okay. Not right. I should, um, desire it? today? I have a look. One big sale today. You can't find prices lower than here. Uh, let's see, what should I get? If I want fall ally, I'll take ten of these. You made up your mind. You sure? Thanks for coming. I'll take ten of these. Take ten of these. Uh, take 10 of these. Uh, at least hold. Oh, 50. 50 is not. And we're good. You got everything you come again, yeah? <clears throat> Alright, let's go. That was just. You go and cheat the heroes off. Mitsuru. Oh, Mitsuru. There's a Mitsuru? Uh. Should be here. Hello. Yeah, I love you. It's not like you're starting hard. I'm pressed by China. Um, say. Come here, but I'd like to talk to you about something. If you don't mind, can you spare some time? Yeah, sure. I see. So, um, I need to know the etiquette of this place. Are there any customs I should follow? Hey, she was a shut in? Slept the noodle. Ah, uh, yeah, slept the noodles. Don't let it get soggy, drink all the soup. Don't let it get soggy. Uh, don't let it get soggy, I guess. Uh, yeah, etiquette. Slept the noodle. Oh, right. Slurping is considered polite. I've heard about that. Hope I can do this correctly. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit. Yeah, Japan, you actually have to slurp um, when you're eating ramen. Fascinating flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it, it expresses that you so actually enjoy the ramen. Yes. If they hear you slurping, it means that you actually enjoy, enjoy it. If you don't slurp, it just means that you, they, you don't enjoy the ramen. Wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chefs. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss. Can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as Yeah, well. she is really shut in. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. <laughs> Oh, sorry, um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that unusual? Mm, not at all. Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future. No social link? Empress? That? The Empress? Yeah, Empress.
Richard Kun was just here. He came to hang out with Junpei Kun. Not often that we get visitor here. Yeah. Do you think it's okay? I'm actually surprised that he's not with a girl. Hey, where's the ideas? Um, oh, on second floor. Huh? Really? Maybe she's with Kurumaru. It's not like them to be gone. Uh, you're not done yet? Uh, how about you? Um, hey, hey. Oh, this is it. Now, second floor? What are you doing? I have a suggestion. And I start thinking about Ryojo, Ryojo san, and where I may overheat. I'm gonna ask Komaru for help. I comprehend. Hmm, I see. Then I shall continue my observation. Alright, we're doing this one. and make sure they get enough sun. They look like they're growing fine now. <sighs> what a relief. <clears throat> it's all thanks to you. Oh, I only lent a helping hand. I'm sure tending them is important. But it's all thanks to the plants themselves for being so strong. You know, after I treated the plants when they were sick, I kept coming back here to check on them. I noticed that the spots where we had cut off the leaves were already sprouting new ones. And in just a little while, they were healthy and green all over again. Maybe I'm making a big deal of this. But it made me realize that life is actually quite amazing. It didn't matter that they had been weakened or had damaged parts. Just giving them a little support was enough for them to show how strong they really are. We can learn from this. It really gave me hope. I think in a lot of ways, we're just like them. I'm not sure how to say it, but I hope I can be as resilient as these plants are. Mm -hmm. I think I'll check on the plants one more time, just to show my appreciation. Maybe if I keep thanking them, they'll grow even healthier. Alright, that should do it. Shall we head back down? Hmm. What am I drawing? Why is this? What? Oh. It's been a while. That voice. They're alive. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. <sighs> now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. <clears throat> And after Surely she was finally getting better too. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. Yeah, after she was finally getting it's better too. His fault. Ever since he started getting too close. I've suffered every single day, and now I'm afraid to die. Hey, Jidori, hurry it up. <sighs> Magia, let's go. <clears throat> that reminds me of who's left to evolve their, um, uh... Persona. I think that's everyone, huh? Except for you. And you. I think yours already evolved. But you have two DRG already. 
Who has evolved, right? Yeah, who has evolved already? The other life is Junpei. Garnet? Opel? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Do the usual, get all my uh, sodas. Uh, this should be it. This guy again. I've been writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little birds sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And ate the bird? In one afternoon, yep, ate the bird. he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up. But he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. It sounds really depressing. I heard that one before. That's a good story. Is it really that dark? For me, it's hard to tell. The words I use come from my own life. I don't really have a point of reference. But I see. So this is depressing for others. You know, when I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality. And I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know? Ah, uh, seven? Yep, seven. I've been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide, and I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. Welcome back. Okay, what to do now? I guess. Excuse me. Uh, let's do Ken for now. If you want to go ahead, we can do whatever I'm showing on my bed. Ugh, the inside of my mouth still tastes salt. I mean, coffee's meant to be taken black, don't you think? It's the only way to experience the natural taste of the beans. The one from Brazil is very smooth, while the Kilimanjaro one is more sour and full-bodied. Uh... You know what? <laughs> I read about it in a book. I also learned how to brew it and stuff. But it doesn't taste much different from the instant type. I wonder if the 
planes aren't good quality. Anyways, sorry for the sudden invite, but they say that drinking coffee can help you relax and concentrate better. I just thought something like that might benefit us in our upcoming battles. And I figured if I could learn to make good coffee, people might find that useful. I'll do some more research. I can tell there's room for improvement. Sorry for asking you to help me clean up too. Please, take the leftovers with you. Although, you might not necessarily like it. Okay, coffee? Uh -huh. Sure, I'd prefer my coffee to taste good, but I could do without all the test sets. Um, it's not that I don't appreciate the flavor, it's just that it's not good for an elementary school kid to drink too much. Why do you so, start why do you, you start like brewing coffee? Appreciate a good cup of coffee, like from a <clears> cafe. <throat> I hope you have another cup the next time I make some. I'll make sure it tastes better by then. <laughs> well then, good night. Yeah, why did he decide to take um take up coffee making brewing coffee? Sorry to wake you. Um, I I'm not sure how to say this. But you need to go to the fourth floor, and please hurry! What's going on? Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Strega. They're still alive. Man, those bastards! First the dark hour doesn't go away, and now Strega's back? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Uh oh we're fighting Shidori. Decided to get rid of you. Come to me. <sighs> Yamagishi. I'm okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! Junpei, come back! Uh, I had to go after him. This is almost certainly a trap. But it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning. So choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. Uh, is a battle time. Let me switch it up. Uh, see. Okay. Um, uh, Mitsuru. I guess and Kari? Just go you Kari then. Save it. Here we go. Yes. <clears throat> Shidori! What's going on? Talk to me. <sighs> Doing this doesn't make any sense. I mean I know I'm not that smart, and I've done a lot of stupid things. But this... this is wrong! We shouldn't be fighting each other! Junpei-kun, look out! Oh! He has the hatchet? Hey! That was <clears throat> close! You could've killed someone there! 
the hatching with a chain on it. Why? Get back, Jupeng. Talking won't solve anything now. It's too dangerous. I know how you feel, Jinpei Kun. But please, just back up. Medea. where I belong. I've known that from the start. Jidori! What the hell's gotten into you? Get ready. Oh, shit. Dark. Was that supposed to happen? For Star Strong then. Right. You're all just a nuisance. Get ready. I think I'm supposed to lose this. No, don't give her money. This pain is nothing compared to the suffering I'm feeling inside. Oh yeah, we're supposed to look. I can't out heal that. Why? Why won't you leave me alone? I don't know. I don't know anymore. You don't even. Oh. Guess we're not supposed to lose it. I guess we're just supposed to, uh, what do you call it? A stall? Yeah, stall the battle. Reflect, reflect. I'll go with I think we're just supposed to stall for a bit. It's the others from Straka! 
How the hell did you guys survive? How did they? Bastards! You just don't know when to give up! I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! Ah. I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was chosen. Bastard! That's it! I'm not letting you do this to her anymore! Protect Chidori with my life! Jubei. Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! Hmm. Jubei, look out! Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit. We're gonna lose another teammate? So glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh-huh. I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I I realized what I wanted. And What's that? I... want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... um... Uh, I... I want to be with you, too. Oh, he finally says it. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. Yeah, because they're fail That's experiments. And their persona the will kill them eventually. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? I. What? And yeah, she did say that she can heal others by giving her life force. What the hell? Oh, life for a life. to bestow life i don't believe it she brought him back from the dead but wait if she goes as far as completely reviving someone the cost for that would be Shh. <laughs> <Chidori! sighs> so it worked i can hear you the sound of your beating heart That's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Junpei. Same. I've got your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on. <laughs> this might be all I ever needed. 
just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! I love you. Too big. Thank you. <laughs> Dory, you're kidding, right? Chidori, say something, please. I think I just got over from playing Final Fantasy VII. Now I have to watch this one. Meaningless. No, his doesn't evolve. His. What do you call it? Combine? Medium? Looks pretty cool. That means Medea became one. Even rise to Tresme Tresme Gistus? to respond in kind. Takaya, don't! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on him. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. This with this guy in his job uh, cases the good name. Let me go! I'll She entrusted you with this life. Don't just throw it away. <sighs> Chidori. Chidori. I Oh God, this is so hard. But it's not just my life anymore. Junpei. Road back door. Hey, on Labor Day Thanksgiving, there's no school. Okay, so what should I do? It's Monday, so you should have stuff on sales, right? Let me uh, look at the calendar. I could go on thirtieth. Might as well. Uh, let me see if you got anything on sale. Oh yeah. Yeah, everything's on sale. Uh, prices are a bit lower today. Take a look if you have the chance. Everything look good on second thoughts? Hmm? You can come back soon. Let me have a look over here first. Welcome. Yeah. Go on, look around. Go on, look around. 
Nope. Which one so? What will it be? I never feel like What would you like? What would you like? So, what will it be? Like an ice fire. So, what will it be? So, what will it be? Your strike boost slash. You gotta tell now. You should take this, right? You slash? Do Junpei have? Generation? Akihiko? You're sure about here. It's all Are you sure. Here you go. Thanks for waiting. So, what will so? What will it be? What would you like? So, what will it be? Wind boost, ice boost. Baby, still with me. And we're good here. Is that all you hope to see you soon? You got. The way cook these on Jupei. Your slash. My key goes quick. That's only for my persona. You made it. Uh, uh running a little sale today. Is that what you want? Take your time. Everything look good here? It's all yours. It's all yours. You got it. Everything left on second thoughts. You got some stuff you that what you want. All right, then. I never feel like all right, then. I never feel like all right, then. It's all yours. It's all yours. You have the bone. Pick up. I'll leave. I'll leave it. Well, take as long as you need. Right. Just need well armor. You finished? Got it. Soon. Yeah, check your accessory. You made it. I got some stuff you as heal in the dark. So feel free to browse. Right. That's all you have. What are you looking for? You gotta tell no. We're good. Be seeing you. Oh, there's no one I can do. All right, gotta go. Let's try. Okay, who should I give it to? If I remember, uh, you were done, I think. Yeah, I think you're good. I think you're good too. Nah, uh, you, you're good. I think you're good too. Not sure of you yet. Don't remember this one. I do you uh, you carry that.
you will have fair luck. 1000. You play still in his room. It's hard losing someone you're so close to. I hope he's, he's okay. Nothing wrong. Alright, we're touching base here. Uh, last one. Ninja hideout. Huh. Ninja research score 222. Looks like people are serious about becoming real ninja. I'll take a look. Ninja have unique breeding methods such as Utai, Ibuki, Okinaga, and more. Ambush has enhanced the amount of tiny to dash before being able to ambush has been decreased. Is it the career thing? Korea Experience Week will take place over the next few four days. I think this will go pretty fast if it's just like the the tracking team one. Good morning, everyone who's in the internship program. Please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. Next four days, I'll be helping out cleaning with cleaning at the burger place. I work hard to get used to the job. When you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? For some reason, Mochika is in front of the restaurant. Oh, hey. Uh... Morning. You uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place too. Um, uh, what, you too? Uh, yeah. So I guess we both picked the same place for the internship program. You're already a step ahead of me, though. I overslept like hell. Uh... Whoa, damn it. Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? Ah, uh, let's go in together. You'll come apologize with me? Dude, you're the best, man. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute, I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh, please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please. Ah, uh, bye. Dude, for real? I owe you my life, man. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... Oh, there you are. Working hard. Seriously? Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika, why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute, don't tell me. Well, uh, uh, must you already. see, I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez, first someone skipping out and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? We're skipping out. What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh. I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize right now. 
Wait, right now? I, I need to gather my thoughts first and, um... And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh... Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. You're uh, by yourself? Not even in the slightest. But I'm the one who got myself into this. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori? Uh, why? Is she skip? Well, if you haven't heard anything, it's fine. But if he's playing hooky, there's gonna be hell to pay. Uh, he just skip. He has no idea how much trouble he's causing me. Tell him he'd better at least call out next time. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. Oh, he just gets through the whole week. I'm starting to get the hang of working here. Oh, there you are. Hey, oh, you're looking pretty good. I would have thought you've been working here for years. Uh, what are you doing here? My internship ended a little early. I was getting hungry, so I thought I'd stop by. <sighs> Looks like you're doing all right. Uh, what's up? Oh, it's nothing really. If you don't mind, uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Hey, manager says to take your break. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me. You got time. Uh, should it be working? They said I should take my break now, too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. And don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about junpei -kun. Yori? Are you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? Uh, you should ask him. Oh, that's why he's getting. He's still depressed. I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It felt like he was suppressing an unbearable sadness. Like he was forcing himself to act normal. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? 
You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. He helped me a lot too. I'd probably still be moping around if it wasn't for him. So don't worry, I'm sure Iori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? He got you too, man. Yeah. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before. But what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. He Don't definitely know. got memory implanted in, into him. Like that That's why he doesn't remember anything well. past a certain point. I guess you're doing just fine. It's just... I don't like it. Seeing you, seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift. I'm not feeling well. I'm really worried about him now. That's After all he's been through, I can't understand why he's feeling dumb. He got really lucky this week though. No one realized he took some days off because everyone was at career experience. Well, I hope he's feeling, feeling a little better now. I'm going to defeat those strategy guys. I can't take this anymore. I know how you feel. But you don't have to do it all by yourself. I know. That reminds me of something. Did I grab this before? I didn't. What does this turn into? Oh, no one's around. Just finish core mode. Yeah, finish core mode. Never seen them somewhere in the torn. That's a secret. Oh, well, I guess even Koromaru needs his own privacy. Do you think we should give him his own room? <laughs> ah, right. You're still in the middle of brushing him. I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> Oh, you get lower accuracy, evasion, foil, four for three turns when battle start. Huh, that's pretty good. Looking sharp. Oh, refresh. Lost. Good morning. 
I am calling to inform you too this time, I believe. Goodbye now. I guess we're going Tartarus. Mm, yeah, at night we're going Tartarus, so let's get this over with. Mitsuru. Do I have Empress? No. Right, let me go get the Empress. Oh, that's right, uh, Corridor. This girl. I drink, can I see it? Oh, this is the limited edition drink you can get in Kyoko, Kyoto. Wow, I'm I have to say, I like these rare drinks. Have you seen the olden juice? It's only available in the fall. You want some? Well, I can't let you have a free. I'll need at least 5,000. Part with it. What? Are you really gonna pay me 5,000 for this? Wow, you must be a rare drink manic. I think so. Now I can get my own rare drink. Maybe you could help out, out a fellow rare drink manic. Do you think if we made those Emerson into a drink maniac all over the country would like it? Okay, uh... Let me go get the Empress first. Sure, this one registering, I see is overriding all registered. Are you finished? We look good. Day. Are you accepting a wonderful? Ah, uh, so that's a legendary olden juice. Though at first glance, it appears to be an ordinary can of juice. Mmm, it's warm. Is that true? This green mouth feel must be one of the ingredients in Odin. It feels like daikon? Or maybe eggs? How mysterious. I see te technology advanced at a rapid pace. I will wait until later to savor the taste of this juice. Went to a unicorn. Very well. Wait, what? Good day. I shall be Here are my requests. Visit your room? I've been waiting for you. So, this is your current domicile, the student dormitory. Domicile? I haven't heard that word at all. So, this is your room. I've never seen many of these items before. Hmm. If I might be permitted to ask. When I made the request to visit your room, did it make you a little suspicious? Not really. I see. In truth, there is something I wanted to tell you. During my forays into your world, I encountered a great many things. Every single one of our outings is a treasured memory. Each one a polished, glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even visiting your school for a day. And I came to a realization. I had been subconsciously requesting to visit locations that were more and more central to your life. And today, I endeavored to visit the one place in your world where I could learn the most about you. That is the reason as to why I requested to visit your room. If I may be so bold, do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? There was a moment where I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. Ah, I remember. It was the first time I'd ever felt that way. I thought to myself, why did I feel so fulfilled? But after coming all the way here, 
I finally found my answer. I believe it's because I had the chance to walk in your shoes. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for our guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason for being. When I'm together with you, I can have that all for myself. I think I get it. Let me put it more plainly. I'm rather naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times when I behaved quite strangely. However, even I understand the significance of inviting a gentleman into his own room. How do you? If you wouldn't mind? I'd love for you to guide me oh, through. Oh, she doesn't. Ah, holding a set. Thank you. I feel as if I've become an entirely different person compared to when I first set foot in your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. But I understand that wouldn't be ideal for you. That is why I am drawing the line. No more visits here. I shall remain on my side. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I am truly grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. That's all the visit, huh? Here are my requests. Wonderful. Since you complete a request, one moment, please. I'll check. Thank you, thank you so much for showing me your room. To show my gratitude for indulging my curiosity to the end, I have something truly special for you. But if you'll be able to use Lucifer or the Judgment Arcana, the lower hell whom no mere human couldn't dare reach, is power unparalleled. I'm looking forward to it. Our someone, someone of your caliber, is plainly capable of risking to the challenge. I can but only gaze from below. However, I, I'm willing to stay by your side no matter what height you reach. Of course. I will overcome any ordeal that may stand in the way of my goal. Yes, I so I believe so. This now concludes the last of my of my request to explore your world. You have my thanks. Thank you very much for everything you've done for me. Yeah, I can now fuse Lucifer. Very well. Right, let's go. I just want to do something. So, Fuku's the only one not up. Yuko, Mitsuru, Yukari, Chihiro. Hello. interior looks like it's smaller than I expected uh, do you know how to eat of course don't be ridiculous or so I'd like to say but truthfully I'm not that familiar I saw a commercial for fast food once but I didn't expect that picking it up with bare hands was the norm just goes to show how out of touch I am my lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem in all honesty, it's a good thing you're here. Is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Oh, sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Uh, rank two. I gotta focus on Mitsuru. Oh, one of these times. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Is she going to use a fork and spoon?
Try to keep your chin up, Junpei. I know. So what'd you want? This came from the hospital. Is this... Chidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um... <sighs> I know. I gotta snap out of this, but... It's just so hard. You should look at it. Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. What the? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Huh? What? It's... Ah, it's that's a very nice. Portrait of Junpei san. Chidori. <laughs> Junpei. She's telling me to stop moping around. Junpei-kun. Okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the Dark Hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but... Just know I'll be counting on you. Ah, right back at you. Passes fire damage to one enemy and ignore resistance. Restores the user uh, user's HP. Damn, yeah, that's very nice. Junpei. Okay. I love pool, a rank nine? Yep, nine. Okay. Looks like I was playing Gold Tartarus today, but I just checked the uh the board and it looked like yep, Jupiter can't come today. So I'm going to try it out tomorrow. So for today, I'll just do hang out with uh, Akihiko. Yes. Yeah, I'll try it out tomorrow. In this fight, each side had one win and one loss. A serious all or nothing match. And the fact that they were lifelong rivals only helped them push each other to the top. Do you have anyone you'd consider a rival? Uh, I think so. Good. Make sure you don't lose to them. They must be pretty good if they're on your radar. Hana makes me want to see how I'd fare against them. Anyways, you'd have to be really lucky to find a partner like that. All the athletes from the other schools avoid me. So it's tough finding an opponent to spar with. And uh, I don't think a long-time childhood friend is quite the same thing as a rival. But hey, the world is a big place. I'll just keep polishing my skills until I find the right person. <laughs> Sorry, we were supposed to be relaxing, but I just ended up talking the whole time. Let's do this again. I'll put on some real good matches then. I didn't notice the time before you go to sleep. You want to crack a raw egg for some protein first? Uh, who should we hang out? This is Sunday, so it should be the sun. Let's go check the guy with the sun. First, let's check the uh, TV. What we got for me today? Do a bane and if right goggle. Uh, do the usual, uh, grab all my sodas. Uh, 
and now here. And hang out with this guy. So I can calm down. Uh, take as long as you need. You can do this. Probably take as long as you need. The pain comes and goes, but I'll be fine once it passes. It's getting better. Thanks. I stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to cure me anyway, right? It just eases my pain and suffering. That's dangerous. Why'd you stop? My medicine makes me drowsy. And if my hands go numb, then I can't write. I have to finish my story. The reason I haven't finished my story is because I haven't found the meaning of my life yet. I'll get absorbed in my writing, erase it, and then lose sight of how to reach the end. When I'm with you, I can almost see it. It's because you've been here for me. It seems like you might have given me a reason to finish. I'm probably writing this book to find my own meaning in life. And if I do find it, if I do finish the story, I hope we have a little more time together after that. And this guy's just getting depressing more and more. He's probably going to die with a smile in his, on his face. The sun is setting. That's it for today. But I hope to see you again. Alright, let me check the, bo the board. See if they're, um, they're all ready. Oh, welcome back. Bumo is almost here. No shadow have appeared yet, but I'm still worried. By the way, oh, that reminds me. Ryo Jukun is here again. He's visiting Junpei. Junpei's still pretty down. So I'm glad he has a good friend like Ryo Uh, check everyone's ass. Yeah, everyone can go. Alright, let's go tonight. So, I'll uh, stop after once I reach the Tartarus. The Hangman Tarot card is reacting. We'll take one incense card, which increases the persona stats. And that's pretty bad, depending how good that card is. But that's pretty bad. So yeah, so I just want to show you this. So now I'm in Tartarus, and I could start. Well, probably, I'll probably just go through the first beginning floors, get the uh, the Akana uh, Burst card. So you guys don't have to see that. And try to get the full deck ready when uh, I start streaming probably on Monday again. So yeah, with that said, I'll see you guys later.